Hey guys, EGA here again with another division video. <clears throat> um, a lot of you are wondering how you pull high DPS. I do have a DPS video, but it's very simplistic. It's very basic. It's not very in depth. It just gives you a basic principle of how to go about pulling high DPS. Um, this video is going to be about me showing you my actual build. Um, so let's get started here. Let me get a decent place here. Alright, so here we go. I've got all high ends. <clears throat> my armor values aren't that great. That's the only problem. These three items right here. Uh, my mitigation. People say you need 65% mitigation to basically be a bullet sponge in PvP. I call bullshit all day. My mitigation is almost at 55%. So, <clears throat> you see 183k DPS, 92,000 health. That's that's a, a decent build. <clears throat> the only way I can optimize this to go over 200k, I mean, I can change a piece of my gear, that stamina, uh, to firearms, and it'll shoot it past 200k easy. But, the thing is, is my talents. Talents are everything on the gun. I've got Deadly, which is really good. Critical hit damage is increased by 26%. Unforgiving and Destructive are complete garbage as far as trying to pull high DPS and PvP or even PvE. Destructive is not too bad PvE, but this Unforgiving is just, it's no good. Um, I've got all uh, high-end mods, 100% magazine size, 200, uh, not 200, 28.9% rate of fire, which is really good. Um, we'll go ahead and take this off and I'll show you Let's see here Let me see let me remove it real quick Okay, so it drops it all the way down to 116,000 so just this one mod raises my DPS up almost 70,000 So it's I mean it, it's substantial to have an extended magazine size that's where majority of your DPS is going to come from. Now, in the other video, I was like, you know, you can only get maybe 20 to 30k mods. Well, I was wrong there. Because this mod right here alone increases your DPS uh, by a shit ton. On this gun, per se, because the fire rate's already 9, 950. So with this fire rate mod, it goes up to 1031. And it's also got a bigger magazine than the Vector. Some of you guys are like, why am I using the MP5? Is the MP5 better than the Vector? In my opinion, they're both really good. It just depends on your play style. The Vector has a higher uh, crit damage, which I've pulled an 83k crit with my Vector, but I've pulled 79k crit with this. So, I mean, you're not really losing much crit hit damage as far as the gun types of guns go. Um, there's a vertical grip there, initial bullet stability, accuracy, muzzle break, stability, critical hit damage. Critical hit damage on anything is going to raise your DPS up significantly. Let's go ahead and unequip it. See, it adds about almost 20k with the critical hit damage. And then the small RDS scope, headshot damage, and accuracy. So, my Caduceus, it's it's not that great. It's a, it's a named item, so these don't ever change. These three don't ever change. So, I'm not even going to get into that because it requires 1800 electronics and I'm never gonna have that so here's the vector adept I'm never gonna have that so vicious and fierce now these two are great to have for PvP if these two were on my mp5 my mp5 would probably do about 200k DPS all I would need else on this vector is deadly I need this adept to be deadly basically once you get all high in gear it becomes an optimization game and you have to re-roll, just keep re-rolling, 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 re-rolling until you get good talents. Same thing with this, hybrid armor. The talent's great, reckless, increases armor, uh, increases damage by 12.5% and increases incoming damage by 10%. With this unequipped, you, I, I've changed armors before and it drops my DPS significantly. This talent is really good. And recalibration, I want to say I recalibrated it for a... Uh, 
Actually, no, I haven't recalibrated this armor yet because I can recalibrate this increased kill XP for uh, increased ammo capacity. So I can go do that, but I'm not going to recalibrate it until the patch comes out Tuesday because patch is going to make the patch is going to make things cost uh, credits instead of Phoenix to recalibrate. Uh, so yeah, my mod in that one is stamina and health mod, prototype stamina mod, which is really hard to roll. Um, God's sake. Um, same thing here, stamina, critical hit chance. These would be stamina health, but like I said, I'm not going to waste any more mats until the patch comes out. But this is a refresh. All healing is improved by 30% when in the last health segment. Not a good talent for PvP. Um, these are fi This is a firearm mask. It's not that good. Uh, I just re-rolled for two mod slots. Let's go to my knee pads. Knee pads. Uh, these knee pads are really, really good. I got max chance, uh, critical hit damage, 18%. Oh, got some guys coming. Oh my goodness, can't aim. It's too early. Okay, so 18% <clears throat> critical hit da uh, damage on knee pads are essential. Like I said, uh, hit damage increases. Uh, critical hit damage increases it by a ton. Here we have pulse critical hit damage, which is great. If you use pulse, try to get all your items rolled with pulse duration, pulse crit hit damage, pulse critical hit damage bonus, and again, stamina health mod. So let's go to the backpack. This backpack I got off of a guy off the dark zone. I killed him and he had it, and it ended up being better for me. So, um,. Again, prototype stamina mod, stamina health mod. Uh, it's got some really nice armor, 371 armor. It had higher... And without these uh, stamina health mods, I'll show you. Take it off. It drops my HP to 87,000. With it equipped, it bumps it up to 92,000. So it's a 5,000 HP difference with these stamina health mods. So each of these stamina health mods adds about 5k health, I would assume. Gloves, nothing special really. Um, I've got these in here. I'll show you the difference. Uh, after reloading the next shot with this weapon has a 10% uh, high critical hit chance. Okay, that's not too bad. Still a shitty talent. Firearms, gloves, 531, critical hit chance, critical hit damage. Really good gloves. Now these, on the other hand, if these were firearm gloves, these would be fucking amazing. But they're not firearms gloves, which pisses me off. Savage is really good. Critical hit chance is increased by 13% against targets out of cover. It's got SMG damage, it's got critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. Like I said, if these were firearms, these would be the best gloves I would have ever seen in the game. As I said, once you get all high-end gear, it's all about your talents and roles and everything. Now, like I was saying, uh, Operator Holster, it's pretty good. I want to say... The holster just, it's got a random amount of the three stats. It's not in particular firearm stamina or electronics. It just, it has a bunch of high rolls on all three of them. Uh, pulse critical hit damage, like I said, really good to have because I use pulse. Uh, another prototype stamina mod, stamina health. Um, <laughs> health regenerates, kicks in twice as fast while in cover. Like I said, shit for PvP. It's not good. Nobody ever takes any cover in PvP. Um... I showed you my MP5, went through all my gear. Uh, see, now my DPS is 170. It was 183. Like I said, the game is bugged as far as DPS goes. It fluctuates between 170 and 185. I've even seen 209 before on my DPS. Um, I'll show you my sidearm just for shits and giggles. Uh, expert, the weapon deals 100% more damage when the health is below 30%. Accuracy is increased, and I got some purple mods on it. Not too bad. So, with that being said, I do, it should be 183k DPS, and I've got 92,000 health. Now, this build is, like I said, it's, it's pretty stable as far as PvP goes in the dark zone. It's not too bad. Um, as far as skills go, I use Sticky Bomb, Flashbang, you Flashbang them, you Pulse them, you go in there, you wreck their shit, and then when they start overcoming you, if you're outnumbered, or if your group just needs a buff, you hit security link. Um, other than that, guys, I pretty much showed you everything I use. Um, you guys can go from there. 
hopefully it helps you out a lot because I know a lot of guys that stream or have a YouTube don't like to share their gear but I could care less because I want to help you so that's the reason I'm doing this right now um, because I I've, I've ran into a lot of guys that just get completely stomped in the dark zone and uh, they, they can't figure out how to get more DPS like I said my other DPS video was okay it wasn't the greatest DPS video it was just a basic rundown Pretty much what the guys are doing on Twitch and stream. I didn't want to show you my exact build, so I was just like, hey, this is how you do it. Now, go Padawan, go make your own build. But this is showing you my exact build to give you a better idea of how to go about building your character. Now, this build is more of a stamina uh, firearms build. If you want to go electronics, then, of course, it would be completely different. Um, everything that I have, firearms, you would switch to electronics. Um, you know, my mask, my gloves. Um, you'd want to shoot for skill power. Um, they do make the stamina mods, the prototype stamina mods, they do have stamina uh, skill power if you want to go that route because skill power, you're not going to hold, you're not going to need a whole lot of health uh, because you'll be in the back kind of like a support. But anyway, hopefully this guy, this, this guy helps you and you guys do a lot better. And the patch is coming out Tuesday, incursions, uh, let's see, we'll run down quick of patch notes. Uh, they're going to be doing a lot of Dark Zone credit stuff, that's for Phoenix, they're going to be switching it over to Dark Zone credits. Recalibration will turn to credits. Uh, there's going to be uh, a game mode called incursion. Uh, the trading will be amongst the group, say like if you guys get in a group of four, you guys run the, uh, run the mission somebody picks an item up this guy picks an item up you guys want to trade you can trade amongst the group now however when you leave that group you're not able to trade that's how the trading is going to be implemented so it doesn't get abused and the game doesn't get completely shit shot which is cool I, I don't mind that trading style um, what else what else is going to go in the patch um, uh, materials crafting materials is going to be one one high end uh, for one gold fabric or uh, gold material uh, bosses are gonna drop a hundred percent high-end material uh, high-end gear every drop um, it's gonna cost 15 greens to make a blue 10 blues to make a gold um, <clears throat> so I think uh, I think it's gonna be harder to get materials but we'll see when the patch comes out but this about wraps up the video guys um, Please subscribe if you like my video. Um, I'm trying to make more videos of Division. It's just really hard, you know, not doing a glitch video or, you know, nobody wants to watch a guy running through Dark Zone, you know what I mean? I do stream uh, to Elite Gamers Academy X, so if you guys want to go subscribe to that, please do or follow it. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube. Let's share it. Let's get it out there. I'm trying to make my YouTube uh, again, get real big. So uh, let's get out there and get it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.